What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you with yet again another perfume experience. And as per the title below, we are back on the artisanal theme of samplers. And for today, you guys, I have Kiara Coco for you from Ansar Oud. And this is the Pure Perfume Edition. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is we will go ahead with the perfume using off of the website. Hopefully there are notes there. Uh, I haven't tried this yet, by the way, so I have no idea what this smells like. So it will be my initial experience of Kiara Coco Pure Perfume by Ansar Oud with you guys. And after that, we will go ahead and do a perfume experience. And because this one is a bit generous in terms of sampling, I'll go ahead and actually do a swipe for you guys and, you know, get to enjoy it a bit. I'm freshly showered, not shaven because I don't feel like putting a razor today on my skin, but freshly showered and I'm good to go to smell good. However, before we get started, as per tradition on this channel, make sure to grab yourself your favorite snack, your favorite bevy, or in my case, a favorite cafe. And today I have beans from Ethiopia. So I'll give that a sip. Oh, yeah, that's good. And sit back, relax, and let's get started. Okay, so Kiara Coco. Find yourself, so this is the musing off of the Insar Oud website. Uh, find yourself right in the thick of a Tasmanian rainforest, smelling clementine peels and lime. A flower-filled jungle enveloped by the cozy comfort of earth and woods. Yet at the surface you find the strangest notes of spices and fruits jostling about. The delicious pulse of the jungle hits you like an ancient narcotic. Although it teases you almost from the start, the buttery heart of the fragrance waltzes in full apparel only after a while. It's at this point you find yourself amidst the sweet citrus Tasmanian lush, gazing upon a lily pond adrip the smoke of green, vibrant incense. Kiara Coco keeps you on the riverbed between the leaves and lime without losing sight of the blue sky leading into sunset. This edition uses a super limited batch of Misur Santal that was French distilled in 1992 the same one that went into the now sold out PP edition. Previously, this batch was exclusively reserved for my musk infusions and forms the base for musk sultan, so you can imagine that Kiara Coco was quite a bit costlier to create. On top of that, this edition features extremely rare cashmere musk to enhance projection and give the crisp aroma a sensual edge. Built around this vintage Misur and featuring the smoky cool of Oud Royale 2004, florified by Bulgarian rose and frangipi frangipani, this edition comes decked out in a citrus jungly incense bottle of bliss, ideal for him or her. Okay, so basically musk, sandal, oud, some citruses and some florals in there, you guys. in terms of the notes because there is no separate note breakdown. Now, like I said, I haven't really smelled this before, so it'll be my first experience. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> wow. This is, uh, yeah, this is hard to describe. It's citrusy, minty, and uji off of the opening. You're definitely getting that antiseptic quality of the oud. 
very minty, menthol-y too. It's this is nice. <laughs> this is nice. I kind of wish I pulled the, the trigger on the bottle. Wow. There's also a slightly gourmandish touch to this, which I'm not too sure where that is coming from. So refreshing and so meditative at the same time. This is perfect for spring or summer. Okay, well, while we're doing that, I'm gonna also take a little bit of a swipe of this. Hopefully I can just show you guys. Because there's quite a bit in there, so I don't actually mind. So I've put in like a few, uh, about three dabs on the bottle wipe here, just the extra off of the bottle rim. So the dabs are actually fairly clear. You're not getting any oil or resin residue. However, the uh, sort of remnants on, off of the rim of the vial is pretty oily, greasy here. So I'm not really sure what to make of this, given that this is supposed to be a per pure perfume, not an oil. But you can definitely stain a white t-shirt like what I'm wearing if you get quite a thick concentration of the oil. Versus a good uh, sliding white dab would probably not create that issue. So just something to keep in mind. Wow, you guys. This is interesting. Uh, so the oud here is definitely very prominent. You're getting this uh, antiseptic, menthol -y quality to the oud. It's very heady. But you're also getting this beautiful creaminess coming from the sandal. The citrus is quite a bit undertoned in here so are the florals and the fruits but they come together in such a way where they create this almost candy like facet to this it's almost like having uh, if you've ever had uh, one of those italian lime or lemon candies in an italian restaurant after a meal that they give you to sort of suck on or chew on uh, that, that tend to be hard on the outside and have a soft inside Reminds me a lot of that, which is probably why, as I've said earlier, there's a bit of a gourmandish quality to it. Maybe the right word isn't gourmandish, but confectionery-like quality. But this is this is very interesting. There's a slightly animalic tone to this, um, a little bit on the hissy note if you wish but it's so so subtle can't quite remember if i said there's civet in there i don't think there is civet and i don't think it's a facet of the musk i think it's probably more of the sandalwood i do find that sometimes sandalwoods can have this slightly pissy urinal like quality to them especially aged sandalwood Wow. The citruses and the florals in here are so well blended that it's very difficult to pick them apart. But overall, it's a very, very good blend in terms of In terms of composition i'm actually very surprised with this one like i said i haven't smelled it before so this is my first experience of this with you guys and uh it's very very interesting to say the least i love love the oud in here i love the sort of 
mimfali quality of the oud mixed with the mint note in here is just Wow, this is so refreshing, you guys. It's not just meditative, but very, very refreshing. Reminded me also for some reason of a really nice summer drink, almost kind of a, not a martini. I can't remember like <laughs> what the name of the drink is, but something very mentholy, minty. Wow. There's also this very slight licorice quality to this. I'm not really sure why that is, but... And it's not a bad licorice at all. It's actually a really nice licorice in here. Wow. It's like... It's very interesting because it's very meditative, but very refreshing, very medicinal, very mentholy, very heady, very minty. But it has this sort of summer vibe to it. Wow. I wouldn't say the first thing to my mind that would come is a jungle. I'd say a beach. I would wear this on a beach. Also, there's this gourmandish confectionery touch to this. Interesting. Okay, I think I've inhaled enough of this. Uh, just not to end up putting myself out <laughs> from being lightheaded. All right, let's talk data stats. All right, profile. In terms of performance, uh, this is a pure perfume that is oil centric. So going off of my skin, I'm going to say it's a skin scent. So in terms of performance, it's not going to be strong or medium. It's going to be somewhere between low to medium, again, depending on your skin chemistry. But keep in mind that oil based scents that are oil centric tend to be skin scents. So in terms of projection, trail and silage, you're not going to get much there. It's not a scent you're wearing to show off or to brag. It's a scent that you're wearing for your own sort of enjoyment as well as appreciation of the artisanal ship that went into creating such a scent as well as an appreciation for the quality of the ingredients in there. This is by no means a bragging scent or a show off scent or a compliment getting scent. This is a unique you scent something for you to appreciate the natural ingredients within it in terms of seasonality i'm gonna go ahead and say this is predominantly gonna be spring summer scent the florals mixed in with the citrus in here mixed with the oud as well as the sandalwood is just a perfect combination for the summer and spring season now, because there is oud and musk in here, you can wear it in fall and winter too, but I'm gonna say just because of the way this formulation is, it's better suited for spring and summer, in my personal opinion. Now, in terms of time of day, I'm gonna go ahead and say that because this is heavily more leaning towards the citrus as well as the florals in here with the oud, musk, and sandalwood playing supporting roles, this is going to be more of a morning and early afternoon scent. It can work in the evening and late afternoon, but it doesn't have enough of that oud, musk, and sandalwood oomph to perform during that time of day. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is more uh, morning as well as early afternoon scent in terms of how you would dress this. I'm gonna say casual to semi-casual. It's not a very formal scent. This is more of a fun, go-lucky scent, something to wear, uh, to enjoy yourself, to relax, to meditate, and just to have a good time, okay? So casual, preferably, semi-casual, if you wanna push that envelope, but a casual scent nonetheless. 
Now, in terms of whether it's masculine or feminine, the website does uh, market it as both feminine and masculine, his and hers, and I'm gonna go ahead and agree with that. The scent is very well balanced, that is neither leaning towards any of the genders, and if you're a lady or if you're a guy, you can feel comfortable grabbing this as it is very well balanced. It does display masculine facets as well as feminine facets, but it's not biased towards one or the other. It's just somewhere in the middle. So it works perfectly for the ladies as well as the guys. Now, in terms of context, where are you gonna wear this? Honestly, this is such a good scent to wear on a beach. It's perfect for spring, summer weather. So if you're on a beach, or you're going on a hike, you will also enjoy this. If you're going out on a patio for drinks and food, or if you're just overall hanging out with your friends, having a good time, enjoying yourself over drinks or a meal, this will be perfect. I'll also go as far as saying that if you're doing anything outdoorsy, generally speaking, you're gonna enjoy the scent where you're exposed under the sun and just enjoying nice warm weather, this will be a good scent to put on, okay? Now, with that said, would I recommend Kiara Coco? Yes, 100%, put your nose on it, put your wallet on it, cop it, you will not regret it. I don't think these samplers are available from the website anymore, so most likely you can get a sample or a full bottle aftermarket. However, if you're looking for an artisanal oil-based pure perfume scent that contains citrus, florals, sandalwood, musk, and oud, you will not go wrong with this. The other thing about it is that it smells very luxurious, you guys, so that's something to keep in mind. It's by no means gonna smell like uh, a lot of the cheapies that you can get designer-wise from you know the, your typical retail places. You put this on, you're definitely gonna set yourself apart compared to others. With that said, I'm gonna wrap it up here, you guys. As per usual, very much appreciate your time and attention, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.